Within the last few months, France, the UK, Sweden and Hungary have revealed their plan to nuclear power supersize Europe. They plan on building incredible number of nuclear power plants, but there's only one way that they can actually achieve this, and that is by getting access to cheap, affordable uranium. Uranium is what powers a nuclear power plant. It is a staggeringly strange lake. It's the strangest lake on the face of the planet. And it's the source of the greatest uranium mine in the history of mankind. This single lake, which is located in Canada, produces the highest grade uranium. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Uranium production in Cigar Lake, Canada is the highest grade in the world. And it's driving these countries to actually embrace nuclear power because there is so much uranium in this one lake that it has actually driven down the price of uranium over the past few years. Since 2014, the site has mined an incredible 105 million pounds of this radioactive metal, which is naturally occurring on Earth. Now, my suggestion to you would be if you know, you're driving along in Canada and you just see a big lake somewhere and, you know, it's glowing green. Don't go for a swim in that lake. I don't know what's going to happen to you. Come out and you'll have funny things, funny changes happen to your body. Of course, I'm, I'm joking here. But it is incredible, isn't it? That so much pure, incredibly pure, the most pure uranium you've ever seen that actually exists on the planet comes out of one single lake, 105 million pounds. And there's a lot more still there. This is the largest uranium mine on the planet. For context, an egg-sized amount of uranium fuel can generate as much electric power as 88 tons of coal. That much uranium, literally that much, at this level of purity, is the same as 88 tons of coal. Given its vast uranium deposits, Canada has produced the most uranium worldwide since 1945. Visual capitalist Marcus Liu shows cumulative uranium production by country in modern history with data from the World Nuclear Association. As you can see, Canada and the US together account for around 30% of global uranium production, mining nearly 1 million tons over the last several decades. Until 1991, the USSR comprised uranium production of Russia, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Ukraine, and other former Soviet Union republics. During the Cold War, the USSR mined over 377,000 tons of uranium for a variety of purposes, including nuclear reactors and naval fuel. Due to demand from nuclear reactors, uranium production sharply increased from the 60s to the 80s. With this came the construction of the earliest generation nuclear power plants, many of which are now closed because they're unsafe and um, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near the vicinity if they were still operating. Today, about 438 nuclear reactors are still in operation. Although Germany, for example, has closed all of their nuclear reactors across the entire country over the past 12 months. And the key reason for that is the immense, immense price decreases in the cost of solar batteries and wind generation, which have just made for Germany in their minds, it impractical to continue operating nuclear reactors. Since the war in Ukraine, uranium has drawn increased attention given its role in nuclear weapons. Ukraine had 15 nuclear reactors depending on uranium from Russia, but the country rapidly signed a deal with Canada due to their exposure to the crisis. So now, the Ukraine gets its uranium for its nuclear reactors from the biggest uranium mine in the world called Lake Sagar or Sagar Lake. Similar to Ukraine, nuclear reactors in Finland were at risk since their Russian made reactors relied on know how of Russian firms. While uranium is used for defense purposes, and bombs, and all kinds of things, it also plays a key role in electricity generation thanks to its low carbon footprint, say, proponents of nuclear reactors. Now, some people agree with this, some people don't, but a lot of people believe that uranium is clean energy. Now, in theory, this is true, but you do have to bury the waste, and that can be problematic. 
In the US, about 20% of electricity is powered from nuclear plants, and around 10% of global electricity is from nuclear power sources. If you've ever been anywhere near Cigar Lake in Canada, I'd be curious to know what your experience was. What, what did you make of it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.